Yeah. It's somewhere she work, Ron. Huh? Uh, she works at uh, a place called Briny Swine. And some guy come in there, and and she was she was talking to the guy, and of course he's you know bass fisherman. They got a little ego, you know. He said, "Well, I'm a big bass fisherman, you know." I said I I do pretty good, but I found the latest, and this is something I got the secret. She said, "What are you talking about?" She said, "It's called hell something." And she said, "Oh, you called you talking you talking about the hell razor?" <laughs> <laughs> he said, "What?" He said, how do you know anything about that? He said, it's just my grandpa made it. <laughs> <laughs> I got out of work at 19. Now my job played out, but I was lucky enough to have my 30 years in, and I turned 55 years old. So I've been out of work since 1998. Mm -hmm. So I've had a lot of time to play. But if I didn't have that, what else would I be doing? I always wanted the chatterbait. See, I fished the chatterbait long before it ever hit the market. And of course, caught a lot of fish. I mean, it was fun going to fish the chatterbait. Nobody else had one, you know? But once I got my feel of the chatterbait, I said, well, dang, this ought to work on top too. I was trying to figure out a way to get that blade to come up and do that on top of the water. And I, I piddled with that thing and piddled that thing up. I said, well, that ain't gonna work. You could, once you bring that blade to the surface, it's gonna slide. And I, that's what I come up with. I start messing with that dowel rod and sticking that dang on tie up there and they're putting that blade behind and it, it, it acts like a chatterbait on top of the water, you know? This blade will be really effective. Where are you going? People start fishing the buzz baits, you know? That, that's about now. Yeah, you know, there, there's a big springtime buzz bait bite. And me personally now, fishing a buzz bait Okay, I miss too many fish. They come up there and I'm here again, this is my opinion. I'm not gonna make no athlete statement about no fishing, but they're hitting the blade. That's why people start putting goddamn trailer hooks on it about nine miles long. But with this bait looking so much like a buzz bait and you got those incredible hooks in that thing, they ain't gonna be missing too many fish on that thing. <laughs> not many. It's not gonna surprise me at all that when these fish get back on the points in the fall, I mean the spring of the year, after they come off the bed and they start schooling up on these points, feeding on these herring, that you're gonna catch two at a time a lot of times. One on the front hook and one on the blade. We've actually seen that or heard that a couple of times Oh yeah, that's, that's, gonna be, that's gonna be common, I imagine. You know? yeah. So get a chance at two of them instead of one. <laughs> hey, put that in your brochure. <laughs> <laughs> Two for one. <laughs> Two for one. <laughs> and I, I, nothing pleased me more to get up there and start working on something that hadn't been done. You know? yeah, we, well, yeah. If you want me to tinker with something, <laughs> just just give me, I'll tell him, whatever. Yeah, yeah, huh? yeah. I've got all kind of crazy things. I'm working on blades on everything. You know? Yeah. I got some that work well, some that don't work well. <laughs> I, I mean, really, you know? Oh, you want me to back her up a little bit? I'll do it. I'm afraid of you driving. Yeah, I know you are. I dang you old cripple old man. <laughs> the, ch not the, the chances of me getting some of these st things on the market, I'd never thought that was possible. And the fact that y'all took on this top water bait, it's amazing to me, and I appreciate it. I tell you again, I appreciate it, you know? That thing there, that, that, that bait right there is as deadly as any of the thing I got in this boat. And, and it's the stupidest, Ron, the first time I pulled that thing out, he said, Dad, that's the stupidest looking thing I ever seen, huh? <laughs> you, gotta, you gotta catch the fisherman. Yeah. Fisherman too hard-headed, man. Yeah. Just like me, I've been there, done that, and I was hard-headed as any of them. Well, it's hard to get people to try something new. What are you talking about? They already know how to catch them. I think you, if you talk about fishermen and their mentality, the chatterbait itself is the perfect example of how hard it is to get somebody to try something different. You had some of these, the best of the best pros, and the guy in the back of the boat be sitting there catching fish on the chatterbait, and he would not change. Yeah. yeah. Till they finally got to the point, now wait a minute. You can't be, it can't be just what I'm, where you throwing, it's gotta be something to do. I mean, that happened so many times. 
I don't know, Daniel, what, how much type of bass fishing you've done, but we've learned over the years that realistically, the craziest your bait acts in the water, better chance you got to catch a bass. I think you guys have pretty much uh, convinced the public or the bass fishing world that that little old blade in front of that bait's kind of effective. I just soon put it on the front of everything, you know?